Hello everyone. Welcome to session 43 of security testing video series. In this session, I'm going to explain about the attack surface of SQL injection. So let's get started. So what is attack surface of SQL injection? All the places where our application is interacting with the database. Okay, the places in our application which are interacting with the database are generally prone to this SQL injection vulnerability, right? As security testers, hackers or attackers, we create this SQL injection payloads for injecting into these places which are interacting with the database, which are nothing but the attack surface for checking whether those functionalities interacting with the database are vulnerable for this SQL injection or not. Now, let me show you or list down the list of general functionalities in any application you take guys. These functionalities are generally interacting with the database and they become the attack surface for checking this SQL injection vulnerability, right? So what are that kind of uh, list or different type of functionalities in general applications? Like some places where you add guys, okay? Add, update, edit, delete, get details and such. Okay, these are the general functionalities of any application guys, which interact with the database. And uh, these are the places where the hackers, attackers or security testers will inject this SQL injection payloads for checking whether these functionalities are vulnerable to SQL injection or not, fine? So. If I have to give an example for adding is registering an account, okay? Creating an account or registering an account. This functionality interacts with the database. Whatever the details you provide while creating an account, right? They will be stored in the database, right? So this functionality interacts with the database. Like similarly creating some address guys, okay? Creating, adding an address, adding an address. So that also falls into adding. But coming to the updating or editing, you can edit the account details, right? Once you create an account, you can edit the account details or update the account details. Or once you add an address, you can update the address details. So those details are also updated in the database. When you update in the application, the same details are getting updated in the database. That means this functionality is also interacting with the database. And deleting is, when you delete something on the application, the same gets deleted on the database. That means this functionality is interacting with the database. Now coming to the login, okay? When you log into the application, what happens guys? A request will be sent to the server. With the credentials given credentials a request will be sent to the server and server will create a query sql query kind of thing and it will query on the database with that credentials to see whether there is an existing account uh, with the given details or not that means login functionality is also interacting with the database now search case when you search for something in the application when you search for something in the application so that request will be sent to the server and server will create a sql query to query on the database which that particular search term you have given okay to see whether uh, we can show some results on the page or not. So let, now let me uh, take one example, practical example, okay? So I'll take this demo.testfile.net to show you the functionalities. You see, this is a search functionality, guys. Okay, in this search functionality, you can inject some SQL query. Okay, SQL injection payload you can insert and check because this fun search functionality is interacting with the database. Whatever you search here, that will be queried in the database. Similarly, sign in, I told you, right? Here also. When you enter these credentials here, these credentials will be queried on the database to see whether there is an existing account for these credentials or not. Okay, this is also the same thing. Now, uh, here some getting the details, guys. Okay, I was uh, telling you about uh, getting the details, right? Getting the details. For example, if I click on the go button here, if I click on the go button here, all these details are coming from the database, right? So when I click on that go button there, these details are coming from the database, guys. So that getting details functionality, search functionality is already covered. Delete account, if you delete an account for this uh, application, or if you register an account for this application, or you update the account details, or any updations, or you uh, like, uh, when you send some feedback, these details will be stored in the database. So anything guys, anything related to adding, updating, editing, deleting, getting details, search, et cetera, et cetera, kind of functionalities are general functionalities which interact with the database and they are vulnerable for SQL injection vulnerability, okay? There is a possibility of SQL injection vulnerability in those kind of functionalities which interact with the database and hackers, attackers, or secure testers will create SQL injection payloads to check whether these functionalities are vulnerable to SQL injection or not. Hence, they become the attack surface for SQL injection. All the things, okay? All the things in the application, all the total places in the application which interact with the database are nothing but the attack surface of SQL injection, guys. So hope guys understood what is the attack surface of SQL injection in this session. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.